If you guys are looking to get some cheap and reliable coins for these awesome international man of the match cards that have been coming out, check out fifacoinzone.com. Use Fangs for a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? It is Fangs, and welcome to a Q&A we're gonna be doing today. So today I have to work around a jackhammer that is going off outside. You can hear it now. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be doing it all day, so I just have to live with it. I don't know what's gonna happen. I have to live with it. Let me show you it. This is pretty much what I'm gonna be dealing with for most of the day of my recording. Like, come on. Who decides to freaking tear up the stairs during the daytime when someone's trying to record their YouTube videos? So yeah, we'll be recording with the jackhammer and it's gonna be really annoying. But today I tried to get to as many of your questions as I possibly could. I think I got to like 10 or so, maybe 11. Um, and I went through them. Now I had you guys do hashtag it's fangs on Twitter. If you guys ever wanna have a chance to be able to ask me these questions, you have to follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna have a link to it in the description down below. Let's get started with this Q&A for today though. Speak a little Spanish. All right, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of Española that I learned whenever I was in high school. Hola, como estas? Bien, gracias. Y tú? Donde esta la playa? Donde esta el baño? Wait, baño, baño, baño! Tu es mi amor. And my personal favorite. Es muy caliente en mis pantalones. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that means it's hot in my pants, but I could be totally wrong on that one. Dude, I look extremely, I don't know why my face looks so white right now, but I look extremely white. My body looks really dark. Hold on, if I put my body up here, am I still, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Try to balance the lighting. We're balancing the lighting. It's not very balanced, it's the same. We're stuck here. It's muy caliente en mis pantalones. I love you, gato. Are you going to Gamescom? So I actually am going to Gamescom. I'm not entirely sure on the days that I'm gonna be there, but more than likely I'll be there the Wednesday, which is like the media pass day where only media can get in. And then Thursday and Friday, I'll probably leave to go home on Saturday. I don't know that for sure yet, but I know that I will at least be going. I'm pretty much, I think Omnia Media is gonna fly me out there, which is sick. This year, literally for any gaming event or anything like that, that I've done, I actually get flown out to, which is pretty exciting because I used to have to pay for it myself and that gets expensive, especially if you're going from Texas all the way to Germany, it costs a lot of money. So I'm pretty happy about it. If you guys are gonna be at Gamescom, let me know in the comments down below. Have you ever become best friends with a fan? This is a funny question and it's not really, he, Bateson's probably gonna hear this and he's gonna be like, I wasn't a fan of yours, but it's not really that he was a fan. Um, more so than whenever I first started streaming, I streamed Call of Duty and Bateson happened to stop by one of my streams there and he happened to be a person in the chat, which I guess you consider a viewer at the time. I don't know if he'd be a fan, but he was at least a viewer. And at one point he happened to be in there when I started playing FIFA. This, that actual, that noise is getting loud out there. He happened to be in there whenever I started playing FIFA and he asked to play pro clubs with me. And then from there we went on to be like really good friends. So if that kind of counts like it's the same thing, he was a viewer, I met him through streaming on Twitch and then we became really good friends. If you could actually play with one footballer, who would it be? If I could play with one footballer, it would have to be Cristiano Ronaldo. Like that is the one person that I would actually maybe faint whenever I first saw him. Like it'd be this action where I'd be like, here's Cristiano Ronaldo and I'd be like, oh. But honestly, I would love to just play a game of FIFA with him or even like in real life footy. I know that I would look ridiculous, but I'd try a lot harder for him, you know? I'd try to like, you know, do some skills, do some stuff, maybe actually hit the crossbar without toe punting it. I'd do anything to do that. That would be just insane. So that would be the footballer I'd go for. Will you do collaborations with smaller YouTubers? People ask me this a lot and with me, collaborations don't have anything to do with your size. Like I think what I, like a person I could say, whenever I was probably, I don't know how many subscribers I was at at the time. Maybe this is when pink slips were a big deal. So collabs were something that you did and they're really easy. Um, I probably had like a couple hundred thousand subscribers and there was a YouTuber named, I'm so bad at saying his name, Dutno, Datino, I'm sorry, I know he's gotten bigger now, he's actually got over a hundred thousand subscribers, if I'm not mistaken, but he asked me to do a collab and I was like, yeah, no big deal and I did it. It's just based on my timing, like if I know you, if I, like there's just certain things, I didn't know him very well, but it just happened to be a moment where he had an idea and I was like, yeah, let's do it. Um, my biggest problem though is that I'm on Vessel, so to collab with somebody is very hard to do even in the first place. You've noticed I haven't done it a whole lot this year, and that'll change because I don't think I'll be in Vessel after September, so that'll change for FIFA 17 at least. But yeah, I don't like have a problem. My like size, obviously if you go into a collaboration, you want it to benefit for both channels, but if it's a video that is like a really good thing and it's gonna do well on my channel no matter what, and it's gonna do well on their channel, I'm very open to clap. 50 mil subs or 50 mil dollars? This is more of like a would you rather type thing, but I'm gonna answer it anyway. 50 million subs to 50 million dollars, I probably would go for the 50 million dollars. Actually, I don't know. 
Because if you go for 50 million subs, I don't know if you'd ever be able to earn 50 million dollars having 50 million subs and having them watch your channel. But the 50 million dollars you could take and then in turn have way better YouTube content and way better like, oh by the way, when we talk about this, I just actually got a Canon 70D with like a new lens and everything. It's gonna be so sick. So hopefully my quality just like, you know, this is better. This is obviously, I used to be on a webcam where you can barely see me. It was like a pixelated face, but this is better, but it'll be even better. And it's got a Rode mic and everything, but back to this. You'd be able to buy all that stuff so that you could create the quality and then you could just get 50 million subs that way. So I'd say 50 million dollars and then I would just earn 50 million subs and just how that happen. What are your favorite types of movies? I have no idea what my cat is doing right now, but it is really creeping me out. What are you doing? Now there's thunder outside too? Oh my God. My favorite types of movies are scary movies. And I don't know why, because they literally terrify me. I don't like jump scares at all. If I play a scary game, it literally makes me stay up for the rest of the night because my heart goes crazy, it tenses my back, and the stuff just gets out of control. Um, but I love scary movies. I actually went and saw The Conjuring 2, um, probably a few days before this video was made, and that movie scared, like, I nearly, I nearly shat my pants. And I don't shat my pants very often, and I nearly did it. It scared me so much. And there's some parts that are really corny, but they still are creepy as hell. Like, the whole night I was thinking about it. I think I even had a nightmare about it that night. The first Conjuring scared me, but The Conjuring number 2 also did, and it was just, I know some of that stuff might not be realistic, but just the thought of it creeps me out. Keeps me up at night, and for some reason I just continue to go watch those movies. Like at Halloween time, I'm pumped! Because everything is coming out and it's all scary and I want to see scary movies. So I still watch them. Paranormal Activity, they're all kind of lame. Still watch them because I want to get the bejesus scared out of me. What country would you like to visit the most? I think currently the country that I want to visit the most is actually Australia. It's really far. Um, it takes about 17 hours for me to fly there, which is about what it took me to fly to Dubai. But it just sounds amazing. I met some Australians when I was in Costa Rica. I think they lived in Melbourne or something like that. And just the thought of the country, like, I can go on a safari, or I can go onto the beach, I can ride some rad waves, I might get bitten by a shark. Like, every bit of it, by the way, kangaroos, you can see my first kangaroos, which I've heard they're kind of crazy, so I don't know if I want to get near them. I just want to experience that country. There's something about it. It's just beautiful to me. I want to give it a try. I don't know when I'll ever be able to. I mean, it is pretty far. It's also rather expensive. But at one point, I need to go to Australia. That's like my next thing. Australia. I want to go to Hawaii. That's not another country. That's the United States. But I want to go to Hawaii. I want to take a cruise because I've never been on one. And I want to go to Australia. When was the last time you got very drunk? Love your videos, by the way. The last time I was actually really drunk was yesterday, the day before this video. I'm actually making this video on the day that it needs to go live on Vessel because I got too drunk yesterday to make a video. And it's not something that's really exciting. I just happened to be, my friend's 30th birthday was on the Saturday. Went out, had a great time, drank there. Wasn't that bad. Woke up the next day and my dad wanted us to go eat at this place called Joe T. Garcia's, which if you ever come to Fort Worth, Texas, you have to choose Joe T. Garcia's as your place to eat because it's just, it's amazing is what it is. But they have these margaritas and you know, if you have one, you usually feel pretty tipsy, but I decided to have like three and I ended up, me, my dad and Will were all just like, Bleh! and it was bad and I got home and I just fell asleep. I think I went to bed at 9.30 PM, which doesn't happen. And that shouldn't be something that is like really exciting. And I do not promote drinking, but if you go to Joe T. Garcia's, you gotta have a margarita. Even my 14 year old brother had a margarita there. They're crazy. The food's crazy, everything's crazy. There's a monsoon. There's actually a monsoon going outside. I'm afraid that a tornado might come. I'm a little afraid right now. What is your favorite FIFA? My favorite FIFA would have to be, probably, I liked FIFA 12 because it was my first FIFA really, but FIFA 14 was like my jazz. Like FIFA 14 had crossing, it had sweatiness, it had pace, it had like ultimate team was fun. I'm pretty sure you could still do, maybe they had taken away transfer offers by then, but you could still like, have a ton of coins and a ton of awesomeness and I had a great like awesome teams. Everything about that game I thought was fun. Some people didn't enjoy FIFA 14 and maybe it wasn't good for like clubs or career mode. I don't play those two as much so I wouldn't know but for ultimate team it was pretty awesome. Like it's one where I didn't complain a whole lot. This year I'm playing it and I'm like I hate it so bad but then I love it still because I'm addicted to FIFA. Um, but then that one I just remember having so much fun playing it. I streamed it all the time. It was just it just made me happy. I love FIFA 14. What do you use for screen recorder on your desktop? What is the app? Tweet me first if you can. So on my desktop, I actually use something called Shadow Play. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I don't know if you have to have a certain model, but if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can get the NVIDIA experience, you can download it, and then it has something called Shadow Play to where you just turn it on and I have to press like 
Alt F9, and it records the entire screen, like, beautifully. I used to use, what was it? Some screen capture thing. I can't even remember what it was called. What? Let me look. Snagit. I used to use Snagit, and it was awesome. It was a really good program, but it was kind of blurry. It didn't look like really good quality, but this shadow play on NVIDIA looks great. Like, if you check out my second channel, you can see on there some of the uh, YouTuber's life and stuff. You can see that. It looks really good, so if you get a chance, try, if you have NVIDIA graphics card, to do shadow play. Do you like basketball, and if so, who do you support? I actually am a huge fan of basketball. Now, watching it NBA-wise, I do watch it, but I don't watch it religiously. I support the Dallas Mavericks, because I'm from Dallas. It's been my team since, like, I was a young child. I actually played for the Lady Mavericks in a um, AAU team. If you guys know what AAU is. I played for that whenever I was younger, so I love the Mavericks. Um, I'll watch a lot of their regular season games, but I don't really get like way into it until the playoffs because that's where everything matters anyway, which the Mavericks didn't do too hot this year. Um, but yeah, I'll watch the playoffs. I'll watch a lot of games if they're on. There's so many in the season that it's kind of hard to keep up with, but I'm not like religious die hard watch NBA. I played basketball in high school all the way my whole life from whenever I was like six all the way through high school. Ended up having some heart problems, so I didn't continue on to do it into college or anything, but I love the sport. I know a lot about it. I can play it. Wouldn't mind going 1v1 with anyone. Bring it. If anyone ever sees me in real life, 1v1 b-ball. Let's do it. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for today's Q&A. I hope you guys did enjoy it. It wasn't too crazy, but I did speak a little Espanol, which is pretty sick. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a regular Q&A for the next one or if you want to see a Snapchat Q&A. I am red. I just realized, by the way, if you guys didn't know, I forgot to wear sunscreen yesterday as well because I was intoxicated. So I'm kind of red. Although I've, I've made my face not look as red. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, hit the thumbs up button. And until next time, see you guys later.